What is going on guys? You guys know I am True Triz. Today I actually have some crazy awesome Minecraft 1.12 update secrets for you guys that I think a lot of you guys are going to find to be super super awesome and very very special. So anyways, before actually to the, the video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like onto today's video and comment below in the comment section. I'm going to be reading all of the comments and replying to a couple of you guys that show me some awesome support down in the comment section so go ahead and let me know something crazy if you guys want me to check your channel just let me know I'm gonna go ahead and respond to some of you guys in the comment section so of course the 1.12 update is currently in the snapchat form right now it's going to be going on MCPE 2 uh, within a couple of I say weeks we don't know when it's gonna be coming to the Minecraft Pocket Edition, but we already know that the features will carry over. So, of course, once they're finished with the 1.1 update for Minecraft Pocket Edition, they're, of course, going to be heading over to the 1.12 update that the Java version or Minecraft PC is currently going under right now. So, anyways, there is a, a couple of crazy awesome little secret Easter eggs that I think a lot of you guys are going to find to be very, very fun to actually do for yourselves in the snapshot as well as in the full release version of MCPE 1.12 or the 1.12 version of Minecraft on the PC. So anyways, if you guys do not know how to get some of these parrots to dance, you can actually make parrots dance in this update. There's actually a couple of Easter eggs you can actually do with the parrots. And there's also some crazy, crazy language. You can actually talk like a pirate in the game too. So I'm going to be showing you guys all those little secret features in today's video. So make sure you guys go ahead and watch the entire video so you guys don't miss a single feature so you guys can show it off to your friends and let your friends know about this crazy stuff so anyways obviously you can tame the parrots by giving them cookies I did mention that in a video before but I don't know if you guys actually knew it but if you actually go ahead and you get a jukebox and if you get your parrots I'm just gonna go ahead and shake the parrots off by just jumping here um, if you actually go ahead and you throw in a music disc in the jukebox the parrots will actually be dancing and they'll be changing their color formation which is absolutely insane so I don't know why this guy isn't going but if we actually go ahead and we spawn more parrots around them or, or around the jukebox I should say you guys can see that the parrots will start going insane so let's go ahead and let me quickly pop this parrot off over here and then let's go throw in the music jukebox there we go and you can see all of the parrots are just going insane they're dancing they're changing their colors and that is just something hilarious personally i think it's really really funny um I, I have my music muted so you guys don't have to hear the music at all but you guys know like if, if you have the music on right ever or are the music volume up then you guys can hear the music as well with the parrots and of course now minecraft pe does have the whole entire music and sound effects you guys will be able to actually go ahead and change you like music tracks and play music on Minecraft Pocket Edition or if you guys have your own music you want to customize and put in Minecraft Pocket Edition you can go ahead and do that too so that's a little bit of a little small feature a little Easter egg that a lot of you guys might have not known and now you guys actually know it I think it's really really funny and an awesome little thing to actually do okay the next one I do want to show you guys is of course another feature with the parrots and of course if you go ahead and you tame parrots and you guys actually get them to fly it works best when you actually tame the more parrots the more parrots the better I should say so you have a little more targets and this one actually involves elytra wings as well as the parrots so you guys know if you guys actually go ahead and if you tame parrots and I think uh, I don't know if this guy's tamed or not I don't think he is there we go come on there we go it parrots will obviously fall you around just like wolves do um, you have them like sitting and like or like stand up and they'll follow you kind of like how wolves actually do it as well so I'm just going to tame as many parrots as possible over here just so we have more targets I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I think you're already tamed there we go, here we go alright so pretty much what you want to do is tame as many parrots as possible so you can actually get these parrots to fly of course I am in creative mode and I already have my Elijah wing on but pretty much what you can actually do is if you have your parrots that are tamed if they actually if you like are in the air and you're flying the parrots will actually start flying towards you which is kind of cool um how they like uh pull of gravity i guess is pretty awesome it works best too if you do fly away and they actually go ahead and they spawn and they teleport right next to you it works just as well too obviously you want to be as high as possible because the better um that this actual like, little easter egg will actually work 
So you want to make it so you're, you're pretty high above everything else. You have a little bit of space in the air here. And you want to make it so your parrots will be flying in the air alongside with you. So they might have teleported. I'm not quite sure. I don't see them over here. So let's go back over this way. Hopefully we do run into them. But um, you guys can see that they are tamed. And they're going to start levitating and they're going to start flying towards me. So come on, guys. Come on, people. Let's start, let's start flying up very slowly up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys got it. Come on. I, it works best when you go a little slow, too. Because sometimes they'll kind of lose interest in you, I guess. Um, so just keep going as slow slow and steady. Steady and slow. That's the way she always go. <laughs> I said a little rhyme there. It was kind of cheesy. Okay, let's go fly these things up here. And then once your parrots are pretty high and they, they have a pretty big distance, I guess, you can actually back out now and then fly this way. And then you want to drop... And then you want to use the elytra wing, and you can actually go ahead. Oh my gosh, I just missed there. Hopefully, come on, I'm going to have to do another scoop around. Here we go, come on. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. You can actually go ahead, and you can pick up your parrots with your elytra wings. And they can actually rest on your shoulders when you actually fly. So that's very cool, let's go. Come on, come on, guys. Let's, geez, man, of course, I'm failing so hard, guys, come on. It is kind of difficult, obviously, too, if you guys do this in survival mode you guys can definitely see how hard it is to like pick these guys up especially because you can't like choose to fly all the way up again you're gonna have to go ahead and you're gonna have to go and here we go can we hit it did we hit okay we hit we got one we got one on our shoulder here i don't know if we can hit two but you guys can see now we have a parrot on our shoulder when we're actually flying with the elijah wing so that's pretty pretty funny it's, it's a little bit of a funny little easter egg of course and i crash and they all spawn right next to me that they teleport but I'm a big, big fan of parrots so far, and these guys are absolutely insane. I really do and like them. So, anyways, though, that's uh, like the little second secret I do want to show you guys. Lovely little parrots, of course. But there's actually another new Easter egg that just got found like a couple of hours ago for the first time. And now we can actually go ahead and use it. So, this is pretty funny. I have no idea if I'm going to be using this at all. I, I got a feeling it's going to be the full release update, but we're going to have to wait and see. So. If you guys actually throw down a crafting table, and you go on the crafting table, there's like a brand new crafting system right here. And the thing is, what I found actually, this thing will only work if you have like a, uh, an actual object they can actually craft. So I, I just grabbed the wood for some reason. I don't know why, but the wood just seemed to work. You need to have your little crafting table, and you need to have the ability to see all these little shelves here. And once you actually do so, you can actually go and find the little magnifying glass. And then you want to do, you want to type in excited. And once you actually type it in, it like lags a little bit. So like now it just rendered like a new texture technically. And now everything, like you can see it says it was crafting before. Now it's crafting the loot bag instead of like your <laughs> your own equipment here. You can see like all of the objects got changed now. And like the music disc is shanty, whirlpool parrot, oak timber planks, crafting table, barrel, organ, Shanty, they, they, they're calling a cookie a biscuit, uh, and then like the Icarus swing, like it's crazy. Every single object is changed. So you can see is like gold ore, <laughs> steel ore. They have like the scene object is like glass. They, they call it glass the scene object. Watery sponge. It's crazy, guys. It's absolutely insane what they actually did. Like even like the tools, like the ship's bane. Flint and steel, hatchet of steel, bejewel pickaxe, like every single thing is different. Ropa plumbing, name your mate. <laughs> That's the name tag. Like you can go ahead and you can do like some very funny things. Just the, the powder keg, um, redstone torch is like still the same though. Weighted booby trap is like it's just insane, guys. What they did to it, they changed the entire language. So it's actually like a pirate pirate language. So I just thought it was kind of funny. Like they, they call in a bow a musket. Um, then they're calling a bolt an arrow, shield a target, bejeweled uh, cutlass. I don't know, guys. It's just such an awesome little secret, and it does change everything too. So if I actually go ahead and I press the menu, yes, and see says return to the fight, advancements, ships manifest, scribble, uh, let your Mateys on marquee chart and abandoned ship. So that's how you quit the game. You can see everything is changed now. It's like lonely voyage is single player. Play play with your mates is multiplayer. Minecraft realms is the same. Dock your boat is like exit. Scribbles like options. 
and like lingo is like back to the the language stuff like that. So you have to like go change it back to English if you really want to. You can actually see now it changed it to Pirate Speak the Seven Seas. So that's a little bit of a new, a, br a brand new uh, Minecraft like Easter egg secret that they included into the 1.12 update. Which is pretty funny. I don't know if there's any other like crazy secrets or Easter eggs in this update so far, but I'll keep you guys updated and I'll let you guys know exactly if there's some other things that you guys need to be worried about. But <laughs> anyways, though, I'm so so happy. Like they they include this thing. I thought this was actually a very funny little snapshot update secret realm or secret video stuff. I don't know how to even describe it. But anyways, let me know, guys, if you guys would be using the pirate speak language would you guys use it or would you guys use a different language would you just stick to english because i think it's kind of annoying to have to deal with the pirate lingo for quite some time so anyways though my name is true triz i hope you guys did enjoy today's video and we'll catch you later have an awesome day and remember stay true peace make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications once you guys do that you guys will be alerted every single time i upload have an awesome day Stay true. Peace.